Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. The leg of a right triangle is equal to one-fifth the sum of the other sides. The triangle has a perimeter of one. What is the triangle's area? Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. We'll solve this problem by setting up a right triangle that has legs of A and B and a hypotenuse C. We are told the leg of the right triangle is equal to one-fifth the sum of the other sides. So we'll write out that A is equal to B plus C divided by 5. This equation can equivalently be written as 5 times A is equal to B plus C. We also know the triangle has a perimeter of 1. This means A plus B plus C is equal to 1. We'll now use the information that B plus C is equal to 5A and we can then solve that a is equal to 1 sixth. We need to solve for one more side of this triangle, so we'll use this information back in our equation about a, b, and c. We'll solve for c in this equation so that we'll get c is equal to 5 sixth minus b. To solve for b, we'll need to know one more thing. We'll use the Pythagorean theorem. We have a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, we know the value for a, and we know an expression for c in terms of b. So we can simplify this equation and simplify further to solve that b is equal to 2 fifths. We've now solved for the two legs of this right triangle, and we can therefore calculate the area as the product of the legs divided by 2. This gets to the answer of 1 divided by 30. So that's one way to solve the problem. But there is a shortcut if you think creatively. So you're given the property that the leg of the right triangle is equal to one-fifth the sum of the other sides. A problem like this was used in competition math. Do you know any right triangles with this property? If you go through some of the familiar triangles, you might think about the 5, 12, 13 right triangle in which 5 is equal to one-fifth the sum of 12 and 13 we can calculate the perimeter of this triangle as 30 and its area is 30. Now we're interested in a triangle with the perimeter of 1. So we can just guess that maybe this is similar to a triangle with the perimeter of 1. We don't have to prove it, it's competition math, we're interested in just the answer. In the later part of this video I'm going to show you these two triangles are in fact similar. But for now let's just assume they're similar. So if that were the case, we could then calculate the area because the sides would be scaled by 1 over 30 and that means the area is scaled by 1 over 30 squared. So we can use the area of the 5, 12, 13 triangle, scale it by 1 over 30 squared, and we again get to the answer of 1 over 30. You might see how this principle could help us. Assume you're thinking of another problem where the leg is equal to 1 half the sum of the other sides. Do you know any special triangles with this property? Well, think about the 3, 4, 5 right triangle. You know that the leg of 4 is equal to 3 plus 5 divided by 2. So in this triangle, its perimeter is equal to 12 and its area is equal to 6. So we'll just guess that it's similar to the triangle with perimeter 1. In that case, we would want the sides to scale by 1 over 12 and the area to be proportional by 1 over 12 squared. So we take the area of the 3, 4, 5 right triangle, scale it by 1 over 12 squared, and we get to the answer of 1 over 24. So this is all fine for competition math and getting to the answer, but now let's go through the algebra and make sure that the triangles are in fact similar, and we can try and solve this problem more generally too. So imagine we have the leg of a right triangle that's equal to 1 over n, the sum of the other sides, and this will be for an appropriate value of n. Not all values of n will work here, so we'll just assume that the value of n does work. We know that the triangle has a perimeter, or sorry, we'll go ahead and set up this equation that one side is equal to 1 over n, the sum of the other sides. We can rewrite this as n times a is equal to b plus c. We have that the triangle has a perimeter of 1, so we have the sum of the sides is equal to 1. We can then substitute in the value of b plus c is equal to n times a, and we can actually solve that a is equal to 1 divided by the quantity n plus 1. So now we're going to need to solve for the side b, so we'll substitute in this value for a 
in our equation relating a, b, and c, we get that c is equal to n divided by the quantity n plus 1 minus b. We'll now go through the Pythagorean theorem. We know the value for a, we know c in terms of b, and I'll skip some of the algebra and we'll just get to the answer that b is equal to n minus 1, the quantity, divided by 2n. So we now have the two legs a and b, and we can calculate the area as the product of the legs divided by 2. So we get to a general expression that the area will be the quantity n minus 1 divided by the quantity 4n squared plus 4n. So you can now substitute in this for any value of n when you have a triangle with the perimeter of 1. Now what would happen if the triangle had a different perimeter? Are the sides actually going to be similar? Are the triangles going to be similar? Will the sides scale and will the area scale appropriately? Well, let's find out. So let's assume we have a triangle with a perimeter of k now. So we'll go through the same steps. We're going to find out exactly the same thing. The main difference here is we have a perimeter of k and you can already see that the side a is equal to k divided by n plus 1. So the side a has already scaled from our previous problem. As we go through the remaining steps, we're going to find out that the side b is also going to scale compared to the triangle with the perimeter of 1. So the area is equal to the product of these legs divided by 2, and since the sides are scaled, the area will also scale appropriately. So the legs a and b are scaled by k, the triangle is similar to the one with perimeter of 1, and the area is also scaled by k squared. So we've now proven this problem quite generally for triangles of 1 over n equal to 1 over n the sum of the other sides and for any arbitrary perimeter k. Did you figure this out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.